Welcome to the fourth video of our mathematical literacy series on the topic of measurements. In this video, we'll be solving another measurement question. Once again, we are given a storage container, this time a shelf, and we have to calculate how much items, this time files, we have to store in the shelf. You'll notice that from this series so far, we have a lot of questions based on this type of scenario. This shows us that in exams, you are often given a container like a shelf, a cabinet, a box, or a crate, and you have to calculate how much items can fit onto or into that container. To keep this video short, we'll be solving question 3.1 and 3.2 only, and in the next video, we'll be solving question 3.3 and then 3.4 of this context. We have to start somewhere, and the best place to start is with the first question. So let's get into it. The context of this question states that CD needs a bookshelf to store her files. She decides to buy a second-hand wooden bookshelf with two shelves as illustrated below. Now analyzing the illustration, we see that we are given the inside width of the bottom shelf as 162 centimeters. The outside height of the bookshelf is 80 centimeters. The inside height of the bottom shelf is 40 centimeters, and there are two dimensions that are not given. That is the outside width of the bookshelf and the inside height of the top shelf. Now, whenever you're given letters for dimensions in questions like this, you will be asked to calculate the values of those letters. In other words, we will be asked to calculate the values of A and B. Moving on, we see that we are also given a note that states that the area of a rectangle equals the length times the width. Now let's analyze this context further. The first thing we should take note of is that there are two types of dimensions. That is the inside dimensions and outside dimensions. If you are not paying careful attention, you might assume that the length of A equals 162 centimeters which is not correct. The length of A is slightly bigger than 162 centimeters. The length of A depends on the inside dimension of 162 centimeters plus the thickness of both sides of the shelf. Another point to note is that B, which is the height of the top shelf, does not equal 40 centimeters. Remember, 40 centimeters is the height of the bottom shelf. The height B is the difference between the outside height of the bookshelf, the thickness of the top layer of wood, the middle layer of wood, the height of the bottom shelf, and the thickness of the base of the shelf. Don't worry if you don't understand it right now. I'll repeat this information when we get to question 312. Now let's move on to the questions. In question 3.1, it is stated that the top shelf has a thickness of 1,5 centimeters all around. This means that the thickness of all the sides of the top shelf is 1,5 centimeters. Note that the statement mentions the top shelf only and the base might have a different thickness. However, the sides of the top shelf and the bottom shelf has the same thickness because they share the same length of wood. I don't think I've ever seen a bookshelf with the sides of different thicknesses, and in general, it's not practical to build a bookshelf like that. Okay, now let's move on to the actual question. In question 311, you have to determine A, the outside length of the bookshelf. From the information that was given to us, we know that A represents the outside length of the bookshelf. The thickness of the wood of the bookshelf on each side equals 1,5 cm, which was given to us here. We're also given the inside width of the bottom shelf as 162 cm. Now, as we discussed earlier, the thickness of the sides of the bookshelf remains the same from the top to the bottom of the bookshelf. So we can safely conclude that the top shelf has a width of 162 centimeters. Now to calculate A, we have to find the sum of the thickness of the shelf on both sides. So the left side and the right side of the shelf and the inside width of the shelf. 
So 1,5 centimeters multiplied by 2 plus 162 centimeters. We can actually type it out just like this on the calculator because the calculator has bod mass program into it. This gives us a length for the dimension A of 165 centimeters. Now we can see that the outside width of the shelf is 3 centimeters larger than the inside width of the bookshelf. Now let's move on to question 312. In question 312, it is stated that the base of the bottom shelf is 4,5 centimeters thick. We have to determine B, the inside height of the bookshelf. As we discussed earlier when we analyzed the context of this question, the dimension B does not equal 40 centimeters. It will depend on the thickness of the wood of the top shelf, the base of the top shelf, the height of the bottom shelf, and the base of the bottom shelf and the outside height of the whole bookshelf. The height B will be the difference between the outside height of the bookshelf and these parts that make up the bookshelf. Now we know that the top shelf has a thickness of 1,5 cm all around. This means that the wood of the top layer of the bookshelf will have a thickness of 1,5 cm and the base of the top shelf will have a thickness of 1,5 cm. The inside height of the bottom shelf is given as 40 cm and the base of the bottom shelf is given as 4,5 cm. So the height of the top shelf will be the outside height of the bookshelf of 80 cm minus the sum of the thickness of the top and base of the top shelf the height of the bottom shelf and the base of the bottom shelf. If we type this into our calculator like this, we will get a value of 32,5 centimeters. This means that the top shelf has an inside height of 32,5 centimeters. Now let's move on to the last question for this video. But before we get there, if you are learning some valuable skills from this video, please give it a like and share it with someone like you who might find it helpful as well. In question 3.2, it is stated that the total height of the bookshelf is 31,496 inches. You will have to determine, rounded to two decimal places, the conversion factor for the height in the form of 1 inch equals a certain number of centimeters. Now before we solve this question, let's talk about the units of inches. Inches belongs to the system of measurement called the imperial system of measurement. This system is used in a few countries around the world. The USA is the biggest one of them. In most other countries including South Africa, we use the metric system of measurement. Now inches are units that measure length and so does centimeters but they belong to different systems of measurements and they are not equal. In fact, one inch is about 2,54 centimeters. That makes one inch larger than one centimeter, as you can see from these rulers. You can see that one inch is about the same size as the diameter of a five rand coin. Now, let's get back to the question. In this question, we are given the outside height of the bookshelf as 80 centimeters, which is in the metric system of measurement. We are also given the outside height of the bookshelf in the imperial system of measurement as 31,496 inches. So we can conclude that 31,496 inches equals 80 centimeters. Now the question asks us to determine the conversion factor for the height of the bookshelf in the form of 1 inch equals a certain number of centimeters. Now to do this we first have to convert the 31,496 inches to 1 inch. We do this by dividing 31,496 inches by 31,496. This will give us our value of 1 inch for the left hand side of this conversion factor. 
Because we divided by 31,496 on the left-hand side of this equation, we must do the same to the right-hand side of this equation. So 80 centimeters divided by 31,496 will give us the value for the right-hand side of this conversion factor of 2,5400058. Now this question asks us to round this value to two decimal places. So the conversion factor will be 1 inch equals 2,54 centimeters. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share to help others like you. And you can subscribe to get notified of more videos like this. If you want to learn more, you can check out this video next.